I was in the Bahamas swimming, I was aerial, okay? <laughs> Just gently pull them. Me, it's not worth the coin. It's hyped, but stop the video and go buy, and go buy this right now. <sighs> this moisturizer has changed my life. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess the ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Um, this is going to be another vlog um why am i not in focus hold on try to just just have it so i just we just got back from vacation not too long ago um it's been about a week we've been relaxing um haven't really been doing much I'm back to work um, the cruise was great it was why do I keep going out of focus you hear me I'm just not in like a loud talking mood but I'm trying to stay consistent and post so um, yeah the vlog today um, I want to do like I think I'm gonna include in this vlog like my beauty favorites because I was gonna do like a sit down with beauty favorites and now I'm just thinking like I'm just gonna show you guys my beauty favorites and I think I'm gonna do like a wind down routine tonight which I think would be good for me just to like wind down and like Take a few minutes i'm gonna take like an early shower after i get the kids like all bathed up and ready for bed and like right after dinner or something um it's my husband's home today um let's see we went on vacation we went on a cruise um it was great we went to the bahamas i'll do like a little snip in picture or whatever can i show you time taking the kids actually taking the kids like on a real vacation we've done like little mini road trips and like day trips and stuff like that but we've never like went somewhere for a week <laughs> and like outside the country either so it was a good memory um I was very like touched and just overall like grateful um, my parents didn't really have the means to like take us. Um, it was uh, we were it was, a, it was a lot of us. It was four of us, and we had a family of six. So we didn't do a lot of flying or vacationing outside of the country. Most of the times we went on road trips or went to the beach. So it just was like I was full of gratitude and like gratefulness and like feeling like my life was you know I was living in abundance I was able to experience the Bahamas with my kids and it just felt really good so I was really thankful for that um we had a good time um the kids were being kids they had like a really cool like um 
set up for the kids they had like a nice little water park why does it keep losing focus okay i don't know why it keeps doing that i think it's trying to like focus on the my face in the background because i have face mapping on my camera okay anyway <clears throat> it was nice to experience all of that the kid they had the boat that we went on the cruise that the cruise ship we went on I don't think it was as kid friendly as we needed it to be there were a lot of kids there they had a water park for the kids they had like a kids club so there was things for them to do but i think then if i ever go on a cruise again and we're taking kids i'm going to pick like a kid type of cruise like a disney cruise or something kid related or like a resort that's focused solely on kids like nickelodeon resort or something like that um excuse this fly thing it's the summertime we go in and out and there's flies everywhere and i'm waiting to catch some so it's ugly but it works yeah so that's really about it um yesterday i did some plant care i have to finish some of the plant care today so maybe i'll show you guys that i was like ordering my plants and wiping them down um i have to repot some plants so i'll do that today mm. while i was away my mother-in-law cut my bushes out front amazing she did an amazing job i was so happy um so i don't have to do that now um i cut them down right before fall so that they grow in really nice next spring it's august but you know um work is going good not really but it's busy i'm just taking a few minutes before my next meeting to like start and open the vlog because i never do that i just kind of like there's the vlog but um yeah so i didn't even like introduce myself or the channel like if this is your first time clicking on my face um <laughs> Welcome to my channel. It's Eliza Marku, also known as. I also wanted to do a summer dress favorites, but it's almost fall, so I'm not even gonna do that anymore. I do want to do um, another One Piece Five Ways series. I think that's like really gonna be a hit. So. I'm gonna do that this week. Um, after my work day, I'll be able to run out and do some errands. I need to go make some returns. I'm just in a very calm mood. Oh, we went out last night. Me and my husband, we had a little date night. Um, double date with my brother and his girlfriend. And we had a good time. Um, it was our first time like out without the kids for a while <laughs> in a long time so it was good I'm like really like I hope you guys can hear me because I'm talking kind of low because I just don't have the energy to like speak really loudly um hopefully you can hear me this whole time or otherwise I won't put any of this in the video um I'm tired of my hair I'm ready to take it out because this gets so tangled but i'm lazy and it still looks pretty good not really when i tell you i was in the bahamas swimming i was aerial okay kaylee ain't had nothing on me because i was swimming honey i was part of that world <laughs> anyway um my skin looks so good so yeah i'm definitely gonna show you guys what I've been using, um, I don't know, I, I don't mind my morning routine, it's just boring. My nighttime routine is just so like fulfilling. My daytime routine is just boring, like I don't really do much. I use the same products at night, just less of them in the morning, so I'm not gonna give you a morning routine. Cause, but tonight I'm gonna do a wind down, I think, part of this vlog, and I'm gonna talk about some of my beauty favorites, including like, maybe I'll include perfume and some some perfume and some like body wash 
body stuff scrubs stuff like that um and some that i don't like that y'all that not y'all but people i'm gonna say y'all i'm gonna say y'all because the girls claim that some of the stuff was good and i beg to differ so we're gonna do that tonight and stuff i'm gonna do some plant care as well so that's what you have to look forward to in this vlog if you're interested stay tuned um if not sorry i wasn't someone you found interest in watching but if so thank you for being here make sure you uh like comment and subscribe but anyway i'll see you in a bit i'm going to do some work and yeah to be educated but I'm so frustrated hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss take me back to before the new rewind take it out of cue innocence can be a young man's game signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew plant she is really bad I mean the roots on her is really really bad <clears throat> you can see like how it's yellowing and it's just it's bad it needs to be repotted really bad I'm sure like the roots are probably disgusting so we're gonna repot this and then I need to repot my fiddle leaf. I'm trying to do one at a time because I'm missing one of my gloves. I have no idea where my other glove is. Pot this and probably some others. I'll probably be quiet most of the time. Um, I don't have good soil. I wanna try a different type of soil. I'm using miracle Grow. So all you green people don't judge me, but it's what I have and I'm not buying some bugs over here. I got one glove, two right-handed gloves. We are going to try and make it work. I meant to get some rocks. I'm gonna go get my rocks. So now I'm starting to think that this pot may be too big. I feel like we're going up too far of a size. So I may rethink this I'm not sure because this spider plant is gonna go crazy no matter what I put it in it hasn't been repotted in two years and I know that it could be so much bigger if I put it in a better in a new pot so I went and got my marbles so I lay these at the bottom so that the roots are aerated um, so the water is not sitting in the roots this is a self-watering pot. I think I'm not going to keep the bottom part on. 
I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm gonna put my fiddle leaf in here. Let me go get it, cause I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna go get the fiddle leaf first. Thinking like they're the same size. I was gonna take my, as you can see, this is the fiddle leaf that I need to repot. I think I'm gonna put it in here. It's a good change. I'll do that first. So I'll just line the bottom with the rocks first. TLC. 
I may have to attack her tomorrow because I'm worn out. So it's nighttime. I don't have my wine. The wine never happens. So anyway, we're about to shower and do some skincare and I'm gonna show you my recent favorites. Just disregard any background noise you hear. Hopefully you can hear me pretty good. But I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna come out and do my skincare routine and talk about my favorites. Um, didn't wear any makeup today so I'm not doing like a double cleanse. I'm just going right in the shower and just gonna and then come out and do my skincare and show you some of my favorite. Get unready with me. Yeah, I just repotted all my plants so I'm kind of like dingy and I did some other things around the house like cleaning the kitchen and stuff like that so I'm just like kind of sweaty and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down for the night and I can't wait because after I finish I'm gonna get an ice cream cone and go to bed. Yep. Okay, I'm fresh out the shower. Um, face has been cleansed. Don't mind this dead tree back here. All my plants are struggling, okay? I'm nurturing a child and my, my plant babies are all struggling. This died on me and I gotta, I'm trying to rehab her, bring her back to life. It's not happening. So, anyways, let's get into the skin. My skin has been looking so good. You know, I don't have much eyebrows show up, but you know, my skin, just look at the skin. Let's just take a moment for it. It's, it's looking great. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been using. I did do a wind down skin routine before. I'm gonna talk through my skincare routine, but I also wanted to like spend some time and talk about like some of my favorites that I've been loving lately. Um, I'm gonna include a few like shower items I'm gonna go over a few of the items that I purchased in my Sephora haul that I showed you guys. And I'm gonna show you what I didn't like, what I did like, what I've been liking, what I've been using. I hope you guys can hear me. Like, start my face, cause it's like starting to dry out and I wanna do it while I am going. So, while I'm talking, um, I don't wanna waste too much time while my baby is sleeping, so. Um, first I want to go over body care first. Uh, what I use in my shower routine and things that I really enjoyed. Um, first thing I want to talk about are some exfoliating gloves. So I don't use a loofah, I don't use a rag. I use these and these only as my cleanser, my like basis to clean my skin. But it's exfoliating glove, they are pretty rough and but not too harsh. Um, but I opt for these and I change them out every week. I order a big, giant, come out in a, in a bag like this. A big bag like this and I get them on Amazon and they are perfect for like making your skin supple and soft and like really cleansing and getting like that dead skin off. Um, it's definitely helped my body feel so much softer and my skin just feels so much better clean and soft even my feet crazy how good my feet feel another honorable mention of favorites is this foot file i'm gonna pop a picture because i don't feel like grabbing it because i don't have it right here in front of me but it's a foot file from amazon it's like a diamond file it's like in a little egg shape and you just like rub it on your soles of your feet in between your pedicures and it's really really good okay find my face face mapping all right so i'm gonna put my toner my first product which is the rose water toner i'm just gonna pour that in my hand just to keep my face moist because it's starting to dry out and i don't want it to dry okay and i'm going down my neck with that Okay, so let that kind of dry while I go to the next. Let's talk about body wash because the girls raved, I mean raved about this. It's a no. 
it's a no for me it just didn't lather and do what it like what you guys said it was it smelled good but i've smelled better things it smelled fresh but i've smelled fresher things to me it's not worth the coin it's hyped but i use it all because i spent my money and i tried to give it a good go but no here's something that i also tried that i was on the hunt for and i finally got my hands on was the saltair santal bloom serum body wash i might have showed you on a blog a long time ago that i tried the shampoo and conditioner and i wanted to try the body wash the body wash is good it's like mid you know like this is supposed to be the best it's horrible this is pretty good it's soft it has glycolic acid in it which is supposed to help and niacinamide which is supposed to also help brighten your skin um it smells really good it feels okay but there is one body wash that i've been that i used prior to these two from naturium and you've probably seen it you've probably heard of it so good okay the i tried the um i'm gonna pop up pictures the salud salicy acid one i forget what the name is i'm just gonna pop it it's the green one i want to try the yellow one i still haven't tried that one but the lather and the the way it feels top tier there's no comparison that's amazing and that's like 13 dollars compared to i think i paid this i got this on a sale but i think the normal price for this is 30 something dollars it's not worth it the lather is just not there now i will say the scrub is bomb the scrub is worth it the scrub is better than the cleanser fyi raw sugar actually makes a scrub and i think body wash as well that smells just like this i will link it below okay all right so moving into my next toner which is my haru haru wonder black rice hyaluronic acid toner bomb been using this for a while now and it just makes my skin feel so supple and moisturized and it's like kind of like tacky i guess i would call it i don't know how to explain it the right way it's probably like the wrong way to explain it but it's like um you can feel the what's the word i'm looking for not is it glycerin you know how glycerin feels like there's a name for it, like a scientific name for it the way it feels like you can feel oh, i don't want to say gelatin but it's not gelatin you can like feel the the fermented product in it that's kind of like getting into your skin and bringing the moisture in it's like kind of like the snail mousse and that has that like tackiness to it that's what this has and this is good i use this in my i've been using this for a while so i'm showing you guys the things i've been using and working extremely well on my skin okay i didn't even talk about my cleanser okay so that was just the body wash and the scrub is bomb i've been using this once a week um and after i'm shaving i use this i do shave my legs and i wanted to mention the razor that i love and obsess with it is the um athena club razor i love this razor um i only shave my legs so this is the only one i only thing i do shave but i love the athena club razor and the shave cream so good the shave the razor comes in a set and it has like a mount that you can mount in your shower super cute the colors they have different colors that can match your bathroom decor or whatever um i will link that below i'm probably showing like a little snippet of it because that's really good that is something that i've been loving and enjoying okay let's get into my face wash because we didn't even talk about my face wash even though i wash my face what i'm about to show you 
go stop the video and go buy and go buy this right now. This cleanser for your face is so good. It's so good and so affordable. It's like crazy insane how great this makes your skin feel and look, okay? So if you are a double cleanser and you wear makeup, you use your cleansing oil. Um, I'll put some of my favorites below. This is one of my favorites. It is a Korean brand, M Manayo Pure Cleansing Oil. And after I use the cleansing oil, I go in with this facial cleaner by, it's by Innisfree. It's the Green Tea Amino Acid Face Cleanser. So good. It lathers up so good. A little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. And it does not strip your skin of its like natural oils, but it feels clean like almost like squeaky clean you can feel the air coming through into your pores after you put it on after you rinse the rinse the soap off so good uh let's see so what did i do toner 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 oh serums okay let's talk serums because i got a ton of them i think ordinary is probably my favorite of them all i'm gonna put my eye cream on this is my current favorite eye cream. This goes together. This is the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Hyaluronic Acid Eye Serum. It has a little roller ball. Where you just squeeze a little bit and tip and then, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see it? So good. So good. You just crack in. So cute. Look. So the reason I wanted to try this is because I hate putting my finger in a pot, and I love that this has like the little roller ball on it. Um. Oh, it feels so good. So I put this one. I put my hyaluronic on in stages, so anything that's hyaluronic, I put them on at the same time. So I put that on after I put my toner on. To me, it just makes sense to get that on before I start putting my other serums on. Let's go in. That. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with my. Hyaluronic acid by Ordinary. They're, they're, their brand, I love their brand. I've mentioned it before. I just think it's like straight to the point. You're getting everything you want and need from the brand. It's a clean brand, it's affordable. You're getting exactly what you're asking for with the brand. Like, but straight to the point. Like, I want to try all of their other products. Um, I've raved about the glycolic acid. Mm, I haven't used that in a while, actually, because it's an AHA and you're not supposed to use that on a daily basis because it does. Um, it's not good when you're, especially where you're going to be in the sun a lot. So I haven't really used that lately. Oh my God, look at my skin. Look at that. Get my hands too. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the niacinamide. I'm almost out of this. I need to hurry up and get this. So this has 10% niacinamide, zinc 1%, high strength vitamin, mineral blemish formula. And the hyaluronic acid is, oh, this has a B5 in it too. 2% hyaluronic acid, B5 plus B5. It just, I just love their packaging and how clean and straight to the point their packaging is. It's no fuss, it's no weird names to the ingredients. It's just like exactly what you're looking for. So, oh. I'm 
running low, so I need to order some more of this. Cinnamide just helps get rid of some of them those dark marks hyperpigmentation so that should go all over your face it's not a spot treatment it just evens your tone locks in that moisture in with my vitamin C um, I've been using I mean one of my favorites is the Dermalogica but lately I've been using this um, Sephora brand because I've used it in the past and it was so good so this is the Sephora super serum ultra glow serum with vitamin C and E another clean straight to the point product love that for me i like to drop it on my face some people like to put it in your hand but i just like to drop it on my skin and i do put all of my products on my entire neck and face i know some people don't bring it down but i do um just love the way that feels on oh, folks. I keep that everywhere and vitamin C and vitamin E are so good for your skin to even your tone. Even since I started using this again, my skin has like evened out. It's been super glowy. The skin tone has just been like so even I haven't had any breakouts or anything with this routine so I'm gonna keep going um, I try not to introduce too many new things um, I try to introduce things like one at a time or like one product at a time um, okay so the next step is my moisturizer mm. this moisturizer <sighs> this moisturizer has changed my life I don't think I'm gonna try a different moisturizer ever again like this moisturizer is the best moisturizer I've ever experienced in my life besides the Tatcha that's what it reminds me of the rice water Tatcha, I can't remember the name, but I'll pop it up. This, y'all gonna have to stop and just go buy this because it's so good. When I put it on, you will see what I mean. Okay, did I miss a step? Okay, no. This is the belief. Come on, focus in. The belief, true. Cream Aqua Balm. So cute, so pretty. Um, okay. I got the big boy and I've been using it up. Okay. I love this stuff. So, this is supposed to increase your hydration level on your skin by 70%. Um, I guess the Naples Aqua Formula is what does that. But it just feels so good on your skin. And it's like cooling. Watch, watch the glow. Let me just shh and watch the glow. Watch it glow. Watch it glow. I mean, it's so good. to anything else for a while it's so good whatever ladles man ladies mantle is a hydrating herb refreshing gel cream 
you can like feel the moisture you can feel the it's like a cooling moisturizing creamy it's just look at that The last thing I want to do is I want to talk about I want to get into a neck cream or a neck serum to kind of combat like some of these like fine lines and like lines I have defining my neck rolls. I guess they call it the tech neck. I've had this since before iPhone, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't I've had tech neck all my life, I guess. Maybe I'm the tech generation, I don't know. But I wanna try a neck cream. I've been using this Firming Night Cream. I've, I've used it on my face a few times, but I really bought it just to try on my neck. So that's where I'm gonna continue putting it. Um, that's where I'm gonna put it tonight. So it's it's by Sephora brand. Um, straight to the point, peptides, Firming Night Cream. Um, and I just put it on here. Brought down all my other products, so I'm just kind of bringing it up. I bring all my other products because these are dark lines, so I figure like the niacinamide, you know, all of those things, like the squalene, all of those things are to help with like pigmentation, and dark marks. At one point, I was putting the um, the Kiehl's Dark Spot Corrector on my neck. That was a bad idea. I actually broke it out on my neck. So I'm trying to be a little more sensitive and pick products that are a little more clean. Um, so I'm very particular about the products. So I do read and research and I try to gear towards things that are designed for sensitive skin because that's what you should do. You should learn your skin and you should know what your skin needs. My skin isn't super dry. I have a combo skin, but this area is always the driest. So I make sure I'm constantly focusing on hydration because to me, that's what this area needs but at the same time that's what your skin needs even if you are oily you should always be focused on hydration because hydration keeps you young inward and outward so that's my tidbit okay so the final step and then i'm going to go get my ice cream and go to bed because i'm done talking to y'all <laughs> okay so my final step um i just like to seal all my moisture in with a little light oil and I've been loving this Superberry um, Hydrate Dream Oil by Youth to the People. Okay, there we go. Love this. Love this, okay. And I actually just, I actually put this in my hand, not on my face. Because you're supposed to rub it together and like warm it up and then press it into your skin. So I warm it up and then I just, because I like to look like a glazed donut when I go to sleep. Press in all that moisture and all that product. Look at that glow, y'all. I'm just bringing it down to my hands. because my wrist, my hands, all of that being dry and getting all the sun. So this is it. This is the full face. Look at that. Just... Yes, look at the glow. The skin is glowy. I'm going to put some chapstick on. I do need to invest in a lip mask. So drop your favorites below. I've tried the Laneige. I don't know, to me, I don't know. Um, I really like the Squalene Rose Lip Balm. I lost it though. Um, that's what I used, used to wear. It's just a lip balm, it's not like a lip mask. But 
now I just wear chapstick. And I'm just wearing the, I'm just using the, I have no idea what this is. Dionys goat milk, vanilla bean. There's nothing really simple, it was on sale at Alta. Bought it. I like the way it feels. My lips feel really soft in the morning, so. Um, yeah, comment down below any neck serums that you guys are using. I do want to try the Clarins Double Serum. Clarins also makes the neck serum. I want to try that. Low pricey. Whew, low pricey. I'm going to see if I can find something that's a little more affordable or something on sale. I do want to try the Estee Lauder Midnight Recovery as my night. I just love nighttime routines. I just feel like they're like just like calming and soothing and they just feel so good and lush so um yeah i think i'm gonna do these more often um i just love my skin skincare routine um thinking about purchasing an uh, led light mask for light therapy or one of those like massagers that kind of Put your put the product into your skin let me know y'all thoughts because i'm thinking of getting one and i would love to like try one and mm, come on put it in the put it in the atmosphere somebody might send me one okay jesus name but anyway <laughs> um that's it i'm just gonna close out the vlog um hope it was fun catching up um hope you enjoyed this i'm gonna go get my ice cream cone lay in bed relax probably watch a movie hang out with my hubs and yeah so i'm going to bed until next time thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe so next time bye america is taking action come on skin yes mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker look good handed to me. Mm-mm.